are the random variables x and y with joint probability mass function given below independent? Well, these six values right here give you the joint probability mass function. And when we're asking whether or not those two random variables are independent, we're asking whether the joint probability mass function f of x, y is equal to the product of the marginal distributions for x and for y. Now one thing to check right away is to see if this is a product space and if you draw the support for these random variables in x can take on the values 1 and 2 y can take on the values 1 2 and 3 and here are the six points where they are defined. This is a product space. It is a rectangular region. So there is a chance they might be independent. To be independent, this relationship must be satisfied for all values of x and y. So let's see, we'll just pick off 1, 1, for example, and see if it's true when x equals 1 and y equals 1. We'd have to check every single possibility, but if we can find one that fails, then we can immediately say they're dependent. Little f of 1, 1 is equal to 0 0.2. And we are asking whether that is equal to f sub x of 1 times f sub y of 1. Well, f sub x of 1 is 0.6. And f sub y of 1 is 0.3. And 0.6 times 0.3 is 0.18. 0.18 is not equal to 0.2. So to answer the questions, are the random variables x and y with joint probability mass function below independent? The answer is no. x and y are dependent random variables. So as soon as we detected that one of those pairs of x and y failed this relationship, we immediately conclude that they are dependent. If in fact the joint was the product of the marginals for the one one case, then we'd have to march on to the next one and the next one and the next one to make sure that's the case for all of them.